Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, wherever you may be in the world. It's Paul's Pack Rips, back with the last of uh, what I did not open off camera uh, from my Collectible Car Club subscription. We've got 1990 Tops, 1991 Upper Deck, and 1988 Donruss here. So uh, 1990 Tops, obviously we're looking for the Frank Thomas No Name on front. Um, really nothing else in that. 91, I am completely drawing a blank as to what is in this. Is this the year, is this the Michael Jordan short print year? Oh my gosh, you guys, destroy me in the comments below because I have no idea, I forget what's in there, if it's like Chipper Jones or something. Please, hammer me in the comments, that's fine. 1988 Donruss, we're gonna start with 1988 Donruss because this one's really not very special, you guys, uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I think, we, what do we got? Tom Glavin, rookie, Roberto Alomar, rookie. 88 was just not a really great year. Uh, for rookie sensations, so we didn't get a lot of them. Let's see what we got. I think the puzzle piece is what Stan Musial this year. Put that over here. We'll get rid of that puzzle piece and let's just dive right in here. Starting it off with uh, Bill Gullickson. Sorry, I opened so much of this stuff when I was a kid. My goodness, I remember going to card shows and I would walk out of there, and my dad would always buy me boxes of these and uh, 88 tops. You know, and when you're that age, when you're probably like 10, 9, 10, 11 years old and you're collecting these and you don't know any better, all you see is a whole bunch of baseball cards in front of you. <laughs> of course, years later, you look at these and you go, hmm, really not worth a whole heck of a lot, but definitely does bring back some nostalgia here. Uh, Dennis Rasmussen, Rob Nelson, Darnell Coles, and we'll end with Don Robinson. So yeah, nothing really spectacular here. I'm going to save 90 um, tops for last. Let's go ahead and rip into... 1991 Upper Deck, the one that I just went ahead and I hit record on my phone and did not do my homework on this one, so I have no idea what's in this. You guys in the comments tell me, because I may have screwed up. I know that there's a sticker in here somewhere. Oh, look at that. It's right in the back. A holographic sticker. I don't know if you guys can make that out. The Baltimore Orioles. We'll get that up over there. Start this pack off with Ken Hill. Is it Eric Shaw? Ooh, hey, this is a cool one. It's probably not worth too, too much, but Bo Jackson in uh, White Sox uniform. I believe this was his last year uh, playing baseball. Unfortunately, Bo Jackson uh, suffered a, a pretty horrific injury uh, while playing football. Uh, he was running back for the, who were the Los Angeles Raiders at the time. Uh, ended up falling pretty hard on his hip. Um, and I believe he had a, a lingering condition that caused him to really kind of lose a lot of like the feeling in that hip. And they tried to repair it, tried to put him back out there. Unfortunately, he was never the same. So he hung it up, I think, in the early 90s. It's Charlie Hayes, but still, what if he had stayed healthy, that guy, there's no telling what that guy would have accomplished. And what he did accomplish in his short time in the, in the majors was pretty great. Franklin Stubbs. Here's our top 91 rookie prospect, Brent Main. I don't know who that is. That's Kevin Gross. And we'll close it out with Manny Lee. All right, so nothing really exciting in there either. Now, let's get, well, outside of the bow, let's get to the main event here. Let's get to 1990 tops. Can we pull a Frank Thomas no name on front? Can we do it? I forget the precursor card for this. I think there is the precursor card. I forget. But uh, what the heck. Let's just go right in. Jose Rio. Uh, Scott Sanderson. It's got some Mark Davidson. Manager Sparky Anderson. is uh, Frank Robinson manager card. It's Paul Assenmacher. Bill Long. Who we got here? Dave Smith. And then... 1990 Collector's Edition Glossy All-Star Baseball Cards. I almost think I bought into this when I was a kid. I think it was 1989 um, that they had this as well. And I think I ended up sending away. It was like a dollar or something like that. Anyways, we don't need that here. Mel Hall. Paul Kilgus. Brian Harper. Charlton. Yeah, it doesn't look like too, too much. And Ricardo. And we close it out with a Dave Cochran. So... Nothing super exciting in those packs. It's always fun to rip them open, though. You get a little nostalgia happening. Um, you got the Bo Jackson 91, which is pretty cool. 
Um, if you like the content, if you like what you're seeing, definitely uh, drop a like, drop a comment, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. It is free after all. Until next time, we'll see ya.